All right, guys, so we got some out here. We're ready to go to that second phase of toy play. Nope, come on. But what I want to do is keep his head. I put him in the kennel for a second. Now that broke his whole train of thought, brought him back out. So it's like starting over again, right? Yep. So we want to do the same thing, keep his head into this. And how we transition into the toy, how we break away from that work is what we're after. To teach the dog how to change his emotional states of mind from different places, it takes practice. Because he doesn't know anything, right? So we go from one state of mind to the next. And that's where I was going with ready, ready, right? There, it's right when I said it, see it? Nope, come on. So I'm gonna ask him, and we're adding the aversives in here because this dog is tough enough to take it. And he also, would, without it, you're not gonna get anywhere. You gotta have some consequences, nope. And with him, every dog's different. Good, oh yeah. Uh, 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 oh, yeah, good boy, good, yeah, hey, good boy, good, there you go, good, good, ready, ready, Bo. good, there you go, good boy, good, so I said ready, ready when he was at my side instead of in front, I trying to change the pattern, all right, let's let him have some runoff, going to run off some of this energy, remember though, if you want to get in the attitude of season Milan, running off energy and you think that's going to get a dog to be relaxed, with a Malinois or a Dutch Shepherd, their refresh rate is like 30 minutes and they're back up for more. So you have to be able to really concentrate on taking this dog's emotional states of mind to different places so he learns to take his mind and his body, his energy levels to those different places. That's why we use a placemat in the house. It's going to one place, he's learning to lay down. That's what's gonna teach a dog to calm out, not burning off the energy. That's where people are mistaken. They don't understand it. Out. Yes, good boy, good. Yeah, good boy. Ha ha ha, good boy. Good. Samba, out. Yes, good boy, good. Yeah, good boy. Ha ha, good boy, good. There you go. Good boy, good. Samba, out. Yes, good boy, good. Yeah, good boy. Ha ha, good boy. Ha ha ha, good boy. That's my boy. That's my boy. Good. Samba, out. Yes, good boy, good. Yeah, good boy. Ha ha ha, good boy. Good boy. Ha ha. Good boy, Samba. Good, Simba, out. Yes, good boy, good. Yeah, comes back alive when he gets that out, right? The prey dies. Simba, out. Nope, yes, good boy, good. Yeah, good boy, good boy, ha <laughs> ha Good boy, Simba. Now I'm gonna grab the leash. Simba, out. I see, and ask for behaviors. Goosh, get it, get it, get it, get it. Good boy, good. The more you do that, you're taking that dog's emotional states of mind to different places. And he learns to transition to those different places. That's what this is really all about. Energy level. That people call drive state. It is drive state. But remember, what I'm trying to get across to you guys with a lot of my lecturing as of late, a lot of my yakking, is all about being aware of that it's an emotional states of mind that you're in control of. We call them in dog training drive states. Out, yes, I did the babies. So you being aware of the fact that you are the one that is responsible for and being in control of and aware of, cognizant of what you're doing in that regards and practice get better and better, but every dog is different. Some dogs are flat. Some dogs have more energy than they know what to do with. Some dogs are Tasmanian devils like him. Other dogs are different altogether, right? Every dog's got a different nature. Out, out. Done. Good. Good. Kusha. Yeah, good boy. Now I'll take it into behaviors and I'll start building that. So he starts learning to go to that emotional state of mind, give me what I want. Then he gets what he wants. Out. Yes, good boy. Good. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Good. Good. Simba, out. Good. I see. Good. Simba. Yes, good boy, good, yay. Yeah. Learning to wait, a little pause. That's why I do everything with dog's name first, preparatory to a command. We start this stuff from a very young age so they can understand it, so you have it to work with. Once you've got the tools in your tool bag and you build this in with these pattern sets and behavior states of mind, then you can start to really train a dog. Out, I see. Good, good, good boy, good. Sambakusha, good, good, nope. Good, notice what good does for me. That's our duration marker. We're gonna use it. 
Good, good, Simba. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay, dog's name, wait, boom, okay? So it'll all come together, it's gonna take some time. This dog is not an easy dog, believe me. Good. Simba, out. Out, yes, good boy, good. Yeah, good boy, ha, 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 good boy. Good, because he wants to do what he wants to do. He doesn't want to comply. You can't force him to, you gotta kinda cause it to happen, understanding the instincts and the drives of the dog. Out. Remember, drives are nothing more than an emotional state of mind in the animal. Simba, good. Kusha. Nope. Good, good, Simba. Nope. Good, Simba. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Make sure that you go and throw it away when you go get it, get it, get it. Create a behavior pattern that gives you that protection. Good boy, good. That's my boy, good. Good boy. Good. Now we're going to try to go to the last one, which is what? Remember? Done, right? Out. Good. I see. I see. Good, good. Done. We're done. He doesn't want to be done. We're done. Good boy, good. All right, you go party. You go free hunt. Good. Yeah, yeah, go. Go free hunt. Good. And look at him. Look at him. This is perfect. You see where his dog, his head went? When I said free hunt, go potty, right away the emotional state of mind went to that place. That's what we're looking for. These little blocks of behavior and emotional states of mind that we create with our with our work, right? Right away when I said free hunt, good boy, you go potty. Look at this dog. Look where his head's at. This is perfect. It gives me that last thing to use in the done, in the free hunt, in the go potty. But we have to be cognizant and aware we're the one that is in control of manipulating these drive states, these emotional states of mind. We've got to do it enough that we create behavior patterns that give us something to work with. With a dog like this, if you don't have anything to work with, you don't build these little blocks in, you're, not, you're never going to train the dog, right? He's going to be in control of you. All right, Mark Farashi, Protect Dog Training, signing off. Thanks, guys.